Hello, artist. After you have drawn your realistic ladybug and then gone over your pencil lines with a black marker, you are ready to color. We are going to include patterns within our ladybug. So our ladybug will not be realistic. You don't see ladybugs like this in real life. Um, but you just want to use this as an opportunity to get creative, add in whatever patterns and colors you'd like, and just have fun. So I am going to show you how I added patterns within my project. Whatever I add to one side, I'm adding to the other. You can create a symmetrical design just like me, or you can just have fun and just make it completely abstract. It is up to you. So now that I am finished with my markers, I'm going to color things in using my crayons. My colors are a bit darker within my ladybug. The majority of my ladybug has warm colors. So I just want to provide some soft, cool colors for the background. If you ever forget what warm and cool colors are, you look at the rainbow. The first three colors are warm, and the last three colors are cool. Okay, next I'm going to move in with my yellow. And because my yellow is broken, I'm just using the side. That also saves time. Next, I'm going to go in with this sea green. So I'm just going around the shape of my ladybug. And now I'm going to finish up coloring in my ladybug. Okay, and now I'm done with my ladybug.